Let me get the live chat going up. Good morning, everybody. New comic book day today. This is the first new comic book day of April. We got a lot of cool stuff to go over. We're going to go in alphabetical order as always. Hope you guys are excited. Just got done with Megacon not too long ago, actually last weekend. All the videos will be dropping starting this Friday. So I hope you guys are excited for all that content. We had so much fun. And thank you to everybody that came up and said hi. What's going on, everybody? Good morning. All right, let's get started with Flash. We got Flash 796. We're almost at that issue 1000. Cool cover A. You have the variant on cover B. There's 796 cover C. And then there's the 1 in 25 for 50 bucks. Who Peaches wants to say good morning, everybody. Say good morning. This is a pretty hot new comic book today. A lot of people here. And we got the Stormbreakers variant on Avengers. You got Groot. New Guardians of the Galaxy is coming up soon. War Across Time. There's cover A. You got Batman 134. I must pick up Ghost Rider. There's a couple of the um, cover A's left, but this variant cover is pretty sick here. We'll take a look. You have the Casada variant on 134 of Batman. You gotta love that. And then look at the Punchline Art Germ variant. That one's really nice. It's a lot of Batman covers. I think there was a, uh, there might have been a lower ratio. But over here we got 134. 1 in 25. That's a, who's that, Frank Cho? Yeah, this is Frank Cho. Very nice. Batman 134, the foil cover. What's going on, everyone? Good morning. Oh, hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. If you guys went to Megacon, hope you guys had a fun time. Here's the Ghost Rider. So you have issue 13. There's the variant cover. And then there's cover A. Legacy 256 of Ghost Rider. What do we got down here? Is this a new image book? Junk Rabbit? Issue number one? Jimmy Robinson. There's a couple different variant covers. What do we got over here? Carnal Confessions. It's like three different covers. Some of the old Scotty Youngs from a couple weeks back. What else do we got over here? Hairball. Flux House. Dark Horse Comics. Love Everlasting. Lots of indies this week. Good morning. What's up, everyone? We're just going through the books. I grabbed a bunch of different stuff. I'll show you guys a, a look at what we grabbed. Batman and the Joker Deadly Duo. These have been really great covers every week. Mark Silvestri is doing the artwork. And then there's book six, the variant cover. Let me see if I can get the glare off. It's just a simple St. Kevitt's cover. And then you got the Joker one right there. What's going on, everybody? We got a lot of people in the room today. Turkey, England. There's a one in 25 with the Joker. That's a great cover there. I got over here. Hey Kids Comics. We got Miss Meow. Magic. That's number 25 on Magic. Mosley. Bunch of different variant covers. You have the $6 version. And there's a 10 one per store variant cover. How I Became a Shoplifter. Number three. Yes, yeah, issue number three. Look at this Bane. First appearance right here, but this is the foil facsimile edition from 1993. Well, I guess I should just leave this in here, huh? Sorry, I tried to get the glare out. <laughs> Did they get shorted on the Spider-Mans? I don't think they got shorted. I think a lot of people just ended up ordering a bunch of them. I grabbed two copies of everything I could. I'll show you guys. They were kind of hot. I had no idea, to be honest. I'll show you what the foils are like. Breath of Shadows. Someone was actually telling me about this. It's supposed to be a fun story about a, um, like a band or something like that. Breath of Shadows issue three from IDW. Captain America, Sentinel of Liberty. And look at the first Alex Ross cover of this week. 
you have the Modoc. I love how he has like the whole head covering the page. <laughs> it's awesome. You got Cosmic Ghost Rider. A couple different covers. There's issue two, cover A. You have the variant, cover B. And then there's cover C with Groot. Wouldn't that be awesome at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy if they show like Cosmic Ghost Rider, a little teaser or something? I know I'm dreaming now. Icon versus hardware. Oh, My Little Pony. Any My Little Pony fans? You have the 1 in 10. What's going on, Harlan? What's up, everyone? We got Immortal X-Men, issue 3. And then here's issue 1. Oh, that's a second print on issue 1. 1 in 25 on issue 3. And then you got the Nasty. Is the Maybe issue 1. This is live right now. Yeah, this is live. I am live at the comic shop. Oh, this was another great cover from this week. The Scotty Young Venom issue 18. We found something. It's 10 12. That's how you know it's live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 10 12. Crucified. Well, we're Eastern time over here. I have a really fun video dropping this Friday for, for uh, our first video from Megacon. It's been taking me a little longer to edit the videos than I anticipated, though. So the videos are not going to be dropping um, consecutively this weekend. I'm going to put a little bit more time into them. But I think you guys will really enjoy Friday's video. It's a longer one. It's a 20-minute long video. So you guys have to let me know if you enjoy the longer format videos. This Joe Fixed It number four is a great cover. Hi from Texas. Hello. You got Rhino. Crucified. Exorcisms. And then the new Joker this week. Is this Planet of the Apes number one? Oh, this is the number one. It finally came out. Right? Yeah, this is the number one. 20th Century Studios. So here's a couple different covers. They have a virgin variant. He might. But I'm going to let you make that call. Oh, and then Poison Ivy. I think the uh, variant covers the Poison Ivy are on the other shelf. Look at that Poison Ivy cover, though. Issue 11, cover A. I just noticed this Joker variant. Look how cool that is, guys. <laughs> Look how awesome that is. I just noticed that. Simple, but that's a fun cover. You can kind of see his face through the balloon a little bit there, too. Harley Quinn. I think, um... I think Harley Quinn was last week. I didn't see it this week. But here's the Joker covers. You have cover B with him, uh, or this is cover C, with him coming out of the mouth. There's cover B, Lieber Mayo, and then there's issue 7, the cover A. Fables. And I think that's it for over here. We got a Godzilla head. That one's pretty cool. Classic Godzilla. Let's see what they have up here. 9-8. Perillo variant. 90 bucks. Amazing Spider-Man 8. John Romita Jr. For 110. $90. Ooh, great Jim Lee variant. Isn't that Jim Lee or no? Oh, yeah, Jim Lee. $94. Ooh, look at that Spider-Man t-shirt. Everybody's getting excited for the second Into the Spider-Verse. Spider-Man 2099 looking sick. Alright, let's see what else we got. Oh, I almost forgot to pick up. I've been trying to grab two of, like, two copies of all the Alex Ross covers, because I'm trying to get one complete set for myself. Look how big this stack is this, this week, guys. We got a big stack. But I'm trying to get a copy for myself, and I also want to get a copy... To uh, just have, you know. The Power Ranger. I know, we'll take a look. There's a whole bunch of them. Look at these Poison Ivy covers, though. She's got, like, mushrooms growing off of her. That's pretty sick. Yeah, the Magneto Timeless is awesome. But these Poison Ivy covers are awesome this week. This one's pretty simple. I really like it. Nice Poison Ivy covers. All right. Let's show you real quick. We got Scooby-Doo. 121. What's up, JG? Good morning. Love comics. I know you gotta love new comic book day, right? Everything's new every week. Look at that Alex Ross cover. 
that one week that had like five. Oh, this week we have like five too. <laughs> so, so far we've seen the Modoc and this is Magneto. I think there's like two more left or three more left. We have Adventures of Superman, John Kent, issue two, cover A. There's the one in 25. Sweet Paprika. There's a bunch of different covers. Mirka and Dolfo. These are always really fun. I think, yeah, that's it. There's the black and white. Sometimes they have those cool slipcover ones. Here's the Sonic the Hedgehog. You have issue one. There's cover A. You have cover B. I like the one with tails, but the Knuckles ones is cool too. There's cover C. Cover D. You have the one in 10. Good morning, everyone. Hope you guys are having a great day. And thank you guys for hanging out with me on New Comic Book Day. You guys left a comment down below. Let me know what you're picking up. This one in 25 is sick. It's 32 bucks. That's pretty cool. What do we got up here? Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Look at this cover. So you got the Blue Ranger. This one, I think this is from last week, if I'm not mistaken. Either that or I can see the future. Because that looks like last week's book. Um, That one's pretty sick right there. The cardstock covers you gotta love. And then you got... Issue four. Bunch of different covers. There's the one in ten. The black and white sketch cover. Rick Flair. Magic Eight Ball. From Scout Comics. This is the number one. There's a few different covers of this one. There's that one's cover A. These covers are pretty awesome. I think WrestleMania just happened too over the weekend. And then there's the one in 25. We got King Spawn. We're already on issue 21. That's a nice cover there. But this one's sick too. Venom down here. Oh, the Venom covers this week are nice. So you have issue 18. That's Legacy 218. And then you have... That's cover B. But then look at the Lizard. This lizard cover is sick. Alex Ross killed it, I think. I wish he just would have made the tongue like a little longer. <laughs> but I think that looks great. And then you have the uh, Scotty Young over here. I can't believe more people didn't buy these. They are a little dinged up. I don't know if you guys can tell. Like every single one of them has like a dirt smudge. I tried to grab some, some nicer copies. But those all white covers, it's unfortunate. And then here's the 1 in 100 sketch. On the lizard. That one's really fun. Yeah, the Ric Flair's. I, a lot of people seem to like cover A. Oh, wait, is this cover A actually? Oh, this is cover A. Sorry, guys. That's cover A. This is cover B. Sorry about that. What do we got down here? Spider Gwen, Shadow Clones. You have the one in 10. Peach Momoko. I think this is the first time you got, um, what, like Sand Gwen? I don't know if, exactly what they're calling her. You got Rhino Gwen on the cover. Kind of looks like Craven, Vulture. What else we got down here? Walking Dead, issue 60. Walking Dead Deluxe. What's the hype on the Alex Ross timeless? I don't get it. I gotta admit, I love them. I mean, I think they go, if you got the first appearance of Mysterio, and you got this book next to it, I think it displays nice. Especially if you see his um, his run he did with the heroes a couple years back, I think it was back in 2020, they released that. All those books, everybody ended up, you know, they were pretty collectible. Where Monsters Lie. The Witcher. This is the final issue of the Forest Limited series. Yeah, I think the worst part about all of these Alex Ross covers is the condition on like all of them <laughs> they always because because a lot of them have the white over here these top staples unfortunately get dinged up but they're great i've been trying to get two complete sets one for myself and then one to have for the future to um either hold on to trade sell do something with the amazing spider-man this week there's variant cover this is a really cool variant kind of reminds me of tim townsend artwork 
Um, I don't think it is a Tim Townsend cover, though. Yeah, Mysterio. That one's really fun. And then here's Savage Dragon. I totally for I didn't even realize they were like still doing Savage Dragon. That's Legacy 265. So you have cover A, B, and C. Or no, just A and B. It's the same book. <laughs> or no, it's not the same book, actually. This is missing. I'm like tripping out. It's missing some stuff. <laughs> All right, moving on. We got Scar. This is the new Dynamite book. You have cover A. You have to comment down below and let me know which one's your favorite. I really like this one here. This one's cool. Bunch of different covers. There's some of the uh, black and whites over here. So they have the one in seven, 24 bucks. And then coming down here, the Infinity Gauntlet homage. So the end begins here. I like, you got Silver Surfer. That's, blue, that's funny. There's issue 23 of Amazing Spider Man. That's cover A. Down here, we got Wolverine. They should have totally, I think they dropped the ball. They totally needed to do Sabretooth with uh, Wolverine. I don't even think they did Sabretooth at all, which is kind of crazy if you ask me. Wolverine. There's the Alex Ross, Timeless. And then there's 32. That's a great cover with all the different Wolverines and the different suits. You got, looks like brown suit is messing everybody up. All right, what else we got over here? Dun, dun, dun. I think that's about it on this week. We got just the leftover scars. Star Wars came out this week too. So this is Hidden Empire. You got Darth Vader on number five. Captain Tarples. Stillwater. Adventures of Superman. That's issue two. And then there's a variant. That's a really cool variant cover. Scarlet Witch, issue four. There's cover A. Grab Spider-Man 7. There's the first Spider-Boy. Everybody's talking about that book. I got to admit, I had no idea it was a hot book. I don't think um, it should have been over here. So I think, oh, yeah, it was over here, right? Yeah, this is the this is where it was. This cover right here, though, I can't believe people didn't buy more of those. All right, guys. Let's show you what we picked up. Um, I'm going to just scoot that stuff right over there real quick. All right. You guys ready? We'll show you what we picked up. It's a big week. I don't think I'm going to put anything back, though. Trying to grab as many of these Alex Rosses as we can. So we'll go through Magneto. Planet of the Apes is down over here. Um, Planet of the Apes right here. Number one, 20th century. Bunch of different covers. So we got Modoc. I don't know which one's my favorite because I really do like the Magneto. Love Magneto as a supervillain. But this Modoc is really fun too. Had to grab the Joker cover. The one on the other issue last month, the variant cover, looked kind of similar. And then I grabbed this one too. That's cover B and C. On the Joker. You got the lizard, and then I tried to find two copies of these Venoms, like the nicest ones I can find. Big week this week. So I grabbed this one right here. So this is the Spider-Man. It's got the first Spider-Boy in it or something. It's just hard to open without looking. But here's the book. Close it up. There's the Alex Ross cover. And then here is... um. I think, no, uh, I think this is cover C. Yeah, that's cover C. And then I got, here you go. I think this is what everyone's looking for, right? So I grabbed two of them. I had no idea. These are supposed to be some hot covers, though. So first in line, I grabbed them. And then I got two of these. So that was pretty cool. And the Mysterio. 
I love this Mysterio cover. I don't know. This might be my favorite. That's the only one not in question, bro. The Mysterio? Oh. oh, that's a nice one, too. And then I got, these are the duplicates I got for my Alex Ross run. Oh, I got another one of that. And that's about it for this week, guys. Yeah, and then that's the Mysterio back there. Big stack this week for sure. Flip you guys around here. I don't think there's anything new on the wall. Um, yeah, I don't think so. I don't see anything super new. Where's Spidey? I got Spidey over here. Dun, dun, dun. So I just zoomed you guys in. I don't know how, how I did that. Let's see if I can zoom you out here. <laughs> All right, everybody. So that's it for new comic book day. Hope you guys enjoyed. I have to go get some bags and boards before I forget because I always forget. <laughs> but yeah, hope you guys are happy with my pickup this week. Let me know down below what you guys think. What are you guys picking up? These Spider-Mans, apparently first Spider-Boy. I didn't really have any idea about it. So it was cool that I was able to get here early and pick some of them up. But uh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's not my stuff. Great. Yeah. Like Make sure I'm not grabbing other people's stuff. But all right, guys. I also want to tell you guys. So I know I usually do my MegaCon videos where I drop them Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Like, kind of like you guys are at MegaCon with us just one week later. But this MegaCon, I got a lot of footage. And I had a really fun time. There's a lot of people that came up to us from the YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much for that. But um, long story short, it's taking me a lot longer to edit the videos. So what I'm going to do is release one video on Friday, this Friday. It's going to be a 20-minute long video. It's going to be a lot of fun, pretty much go over the entire convention. And um, then what I'm going to do is release parts of all the rest of the three days that I have. So you guys are going to get a cosplay video. There's going to be some Ari Sally stuff. And they're just going to be smaller, shorter videos. But I think there will be a lot more fun for you guys to watch. And it'll be more content on the channel. So I think, yeah, it'll be a lot more fun. And it's, uh, it's a lot quicker to load those shorter videos because it takes forever to load a 20 minute video <laughs> but all right i'll stop rambling i hope you guys enjoyed new comic book day this week comment down below what your favorite book was and let me know on next uh on the next youtube video this friday what you think of megacon all right guys i'll see you guys next time and